Uh, Stephen Reid here, two in on Friday night, race five, got Predator. Um, I was initially a little bit disappointed with his run last start, but after going back and looking at the times and the sectionals, you don't see a maiden race go quicker than 2.40 very often, especially in winter time. So I thought to run on and run fifth was a fair effort. He's improved with the run and uh, drawn to the second line, I think he would be a great each way bet. Then we go to race six, I have changed tact. He's, uh, she's also drawn to the second line. A much improved effort last start back in the Cambridge class. Uh, she's a filly that likes to get up on the speed, so hopefully if she can get a good run through, uh, she'll put herself in the race. Her work has also been really, really good since uh, she last raced, so I can't see any reason why she won't be a top three finisher. Josh Dickey here for the Stonewall Stud Runners on Friday night. We kick off in race two with uh, Delightful Chick. She's resumed back with a couple of workout wins, and yeah, both of them have been really well uh, run trials for her. And yeah, she was a little bit disappointing last prep, but yeah, she seems to be back on the right track, albeit her trials times haven't been overly fast, but yeah, she seems to have come back good. And um, yeah, I, I think she's a pretty decent chance going into Friday night. Uh, race five, Carbon, he's a funny horse. He, you know, on paper, he's done a great job. He's, he's third, fourth all the time, and it, you know, it's hard to complain, but you know, it's he has been a bit frustrating all the same. Um, you know, he, he's good enough to, to win a maiden race and he hasn't quite been able to do that yet. But look, he's drawn one the back row and, and um, probably suits him there. He, he has been disappointing, as I say, but you know, he, he'll get his chance. And race six slots, he, he was a lot better last start. He was over 2,700. Yeah, he did get a favorable run on the fence that night, but you know, we, we've always sort of thought a bit of him. And um, you know, uh, two starts prior to that, he was, he was well below par. Yeah, it was good to see him bounce back, and especially over that 2,700 metre distance. It's not an easy distance for any horse, especially a three-year-old. So, yeah, he, he was getting the line good, and he wasn't beaten much in the end. So it was good to, as I say, see him bounce back. Uh, that looks a little bit of speed inside him, but yeah, he, he's a decent three-year-old, and you know we're not willing to give up on him yet. And he only has to go as good as he did last start, and he's probably another winning chance. Yeah, in race nine, Siren Shard, she's she's a horse that's really flying at the moment. You could go back through well, four or five of her last runs and yeah, they've all been outstanding really. Last start, she was just quite unlucky and just didn't quite get the gap when, when needed, but yeah, she, she was you know pushing them over the line at the finish and yeah, a few runs before that have all been good and she pops up with a really good draw. Uh, she's drawn one over a mile and Looks to be some good speed there outside us, and you know, as we all know, over a mile at Cambridge, generally the best trip will win that race. And you know, if, if they are running hard, and you know, we're getting a good helmet to follow or or something else, you know, I think she's a great chance. So it's drawn one over a mile. She's got to be a big plus for her, and brings that form again. She's going to be really hard to beat. Maddie White here. Uh, just got the one in on Friday night. Uh, my surfer girl in the last race. Consistent. Mia, she's sort of always sort of thereabouts, and you know, it'd be a bit tough on, on Friday. She's drawn the outside of the gate. It, it looks like a sort of nice even field, so you know, she might just need a bit of luck from there. But uh, you know, if, if we sort of get the right run and, and the races run right, there's no reason why she couldn't run in the first three. Steph Burley here, just running through my drives on Friday night. Uh, race one and got Bolt for the Hill. Uh, he's been going really well. He probably I probably drove him a bit back to front last start but yeah he should be thereabouts he's been his work's been really good since and yeah uh, race eight manchester in time uh first time partnering this horse i don't really know a lot about him um but i'll be doing my homework on thursday and i see he's been he's gone some nice races um so hopefully be thereabouts uh race nine sharky's girl uh she's a model of consistency it's a bit of an awkward draw but she's got uh her well she's well known for her gate speed so hopefully we'll just see what the plan is with John and um, she should be thereabouts again. Best of the night would probably be Bolt for the Hill. Um, he went really good last start and his work's been good since. Hopefully I drive him correctly and he goes good enough.